All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on this week's episode of Wrestling for the Culture, I have the one and only Miss Shayla. Uh, we got we got some talking to do about uh, Evictus Pro uh, as I've been making my way around, uh, you know, talking about everything that happened. So that's coming up after the intro. The Wrestling Round presents Wrestling for the Culture, where we highlight pro wrestlers and pro wrestling personalities of color. Here's your host. Brian H. Waters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Wrestling for the Culture. As I mentioned earlier, I got Shayla on the line. Y'all may know her as the one and only Jay Bougie's uh, valet. <laughs> But, you know, she's also, I mean, she's a manager. She's not just a valet, because clearly, um, you know what? We ain't even going to talk about it. We're we, we just going to do it. So, so shout out to Kevin Wood for the video production. Well, 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 well. Look who has joined. Wait, real quick. Shout out to Kevin Wood for the production. Shout out to King Letty for the photo. Um, yeah. So, uh, Miss Shayla, and and welcome. We're not even two minutes in. Like, you, if you think I was cool, you was waiting all day to do this. You was waiting all day to do this. Look, look. You you put her in danger. Wow. Did I you not? Know, she was standing I next to you, bro. Oh, we'll do it again. Yo, <laughs> you and Rev, shady people, man. How is shady? I was, I, did I, did I stop? I let y'all, you know, she jumped in the ring. It was a bodega street fight. I didn't stop nothing from happening. Now, if I was shady, I would have went against the rules, which are no rules. And I would have told her to get out of the ring. Now, after she got hit, I'd say, get out. <laughs> But but let's be fair, Shayla. Are you okay after that? I'm I know good. it's been a while ago, but yeah, now I'm good. I'm fine. I'm great. And, 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 and Jay Bougie, since you you know you you invaded the interview, how did yeah, it make you, you feel? Started off, you started off crazy. There was, was stuff. Reason, there was no reason to play that that many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though. All right, oh. I got something for you. But look, look, you know, I mean, we we just dropped the vlog today. And, and you you can clearly see on the Wrestling Around Black Wrestle Fest blog that I tried to make amends with you. Did I not? I don't know about that. That's a computer magic. Listen, uh, uh, listen, <laughs> listen. You better keep this rest of this going on. No more videos. None of that. <laughs> All right? Get the know how. <laughs> so, I, I tried to, you know. But anyway, Shayla. So. So you say you feeling okay after that, right? I'm like, yes. All right, all right. So so let's get into it. When did you decide that you wanted to jump into the wrestling business, as they say? I mean, he didn't really give me a choice. Oh. <laughs> He's not give me a choice. I was always a fan growing up of wrestling, though, but I never <laughs> thought I would be anywhere near the ring with him. One day, I, I, don't, I don't even know how it started. One day, he was just like, you should just come out with me. I forgot what happened. I think it was, like, around the time I started modeling, pretty much. Like, he mm -hmm. thought it was, like, a good add-on. So, we did it, and I enjoyed it. So, he did, we just kept it going. But I never thought I would really be, like, in the ring or nowhere near that. <laughs> I, I'm going to give him a credit where credit is due. He is always ahead of his time and thinking ahead. And that's it. That's all credit Jay Bougie is getting. On this episode, so y'all can mark it down at four minutes and some change. Brian H. Waters gives Jay Bougie his credit, but um, so you you wow. said <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up as a fan though. Yeah, I did. My grandfather used to watch wrestling all the time. My mom is a big fan too. Oh, okay. So who's, huh? Who are some of your favorites? Uh, growing up, actually, I have like the most random favorites ever. Like <laughs> my favorite wrestler is actually Mark Henry. Okay. Like, all the time, yeah. And I'll say right now it will be like Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton. Nice. Yeah, but I think it was like the little girl in me. I'm like, he's the strongest man in the world. Like he was my favorite. Like I was obsessed <laughs> with him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, and you know, um, you know, he's a former world heavyweight champion. So 
that's that's definitely dope. It's funny because uh, me and my sister was actually watching earlier. Summer's like the lead up to SummerSlam '98, and you see him with the Nation and the Rock, and it was like, wow, you know, Mark Henry with just the regular as opposed <laughs> to the braids or the bald head. So. No, yeah, for real. Yeah, so um, when did, uh, you know, you said that, you know, he invited you to come into the ring, uh, but what was your mindset that first time, you know, the entrance music hits and you walking down the aisle next to him? What was your mindset? I got to stop smiling, actually. (laughs) I was so mad at myself after watching it back. I'm just like ear to ear, mad happy walking down. But before I was, I was really proud of him, actually. Like, I've always watched him, like, as a fan and going to his shows when he was at Easton. So seeing him like perform at like in a bigger setting, it was really cool. It was, it was crazy. Now, was there some, like, since you started managing, are there some, that you some uh, like men or women that you go back and study? I'm sorry. I said, now that you, you know, being his valet, being his manager, being right there for him and obviously getting involved in matches, are there some that you, sit back and study uh like there's some legends you go back and study um, here and there like of course i love sasha banks like i've watched her a couple times not really like any like ballet people who have done ballet in the past because i don't i didn't really watch it like that like when i watched it i was a kid so i didn't yeah. i don't you know who to look back at like i'll ask him like oh who should i be looking at or anybody i should study and he's like just be yourself just go out there and be yourself so if i'm watching it with him and i see somebody i like on there i'm like oh shit like i'll, I'll study them and i'll watch them but it's really really rare yeah, and what does it mean to you now that you're in this position? Um, it's pretty cool. I I'm always sitting. I'm still new to it, so I'm always sitting down, like thinking, like how can I make it my own or like have fun with it. But right now, I'm just like still soaking it all in. Honestly, like I'm still very surprised. And every time, th- every time I go out there with him, I'm just like, how can I have fun? How can I make it different? Yeah. So what's it like when you have like have you had like any heat with fans? Uh, have I? I mean, the first time I came out at Upper Limit and I threw the champagne on him, mm-hmm. people went crazy there. Like people were like dying to see me again. So that was that was cool. I didn't think that would happen, but I definitely had a wardrobe malfunction. So I was, <laughs> I was more worried about that. Like I was covering my chest the whole time. So oh man, I didn't, I didn't even get to like have like have fun and soak it in. But that was cool. Like watching it back, I'm like, oh shit! Like they're clapping for me. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of that moment, I was like, let me cover my breast. But yeah. Definitely- now, hmm. No, I was like, it's definitely cool. Like I'm seeing it more now. Like as I come out, people are like happy to see me and shit. And it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Is there um, when you sit back and um, like you think about you know a big match that's coming up, right? Obviously, you know, thinking about the match at with him and Ron at Victus Pro at for the uh, at Takeover versus STP. Was there anything in your mind or like? things that you wanted to do or besides obviously the table spot, but like, what was your mindset going into that? Like, obviously, you know, this is a big match for him, but what was your mindset going into this? Knowing there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on this match, especially IWTV, the people there and everything. Yeah. I mean, going, that's, going in, it was just like, yeah, like how can I have fun? Have, how can I have people remember me? Cause I do like attention. Like I'm like, mm. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I like having attention. So when I go out there, I'm just like, how can I elevate him? How can I make him look better for going out there? I didn't like focus on myself too much because, like I said, this was big for him. Like this was the first time he he ran ran a show from beginning to end. So I just let him have fun. I was just in the side, on the side, like always, just watching him, supporting him, and chilling. Yeah, that's one thing you know. And something else, I guess we're gonna give him credit for. Uh, <laughs> just the way the show went, you know, it was very smooth. Uh, but like, um, we was talking about this as I gave a preview last night on. The wrestling realm now podcast and <laughs> the real Dwayne Allen was that they look dangerous. <laughs> so what was it like? Like what went into you know crafting together the outfit? Uh that I was that took me forever. The office took me forever. Like mm-hmm. for that one, I was what did I look up? <laughs> yeah, like walking myself. No, yeah, no. I'm saying, what did I look up? Like, what did I? What was my um inspiration? More so, I was looking for something that would like. I would like co-art sets, like things that match together. So mm-hmm. I like. I was. I went from what he was wearing. He was wearing black and gray. So I'm trying to. I was looking for something black and sparkly, and I found it. I was just 
literally googling that stuff for black and sparkly jumpsuits and looking at cool stuff i never thought i would wear a mask either i found that on like some celebrity on the explore page and i'm like i need to find something similar and you know the internet these days it comes up so that was pretty cool and i never i didn't think his gear would come out like that either he was waiting for that for months it came oh. like two days before the, the before the show and we're like yes perfect so that was pretty cool yeah, I definitely thought the way y'all matched, I thought it was perfect and spot on, as you know. Um, which, which is hmm? great because he does not like matching with me. Like, I cannot get this man to match with me. Even sneakers, maybe just a color, like, at all. So it's, <laughs> it's crazy that in the wrestling world, he lets me match with him. Like, we could be as corny as possible. <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> oh, man. So y'all went to, uh, recently, y'all went down to Florida, to Jacksonville. What was that experience like for you? That was cool. That was different too. Like it was really nice to actually like cover a, a, an event. Like we were doing the social media masters there. So we had to like tweet and interact with the fans. That was super cool. Like I was so excited for that. And like to make the event more about the fans. That was a really cool experience. That was a really good experience. Like we met, we got to see people doing cos, these kids doing cosplay and everybody was just like excited to wait on lines. It was really cool. It was super dope. Did you have a favorite moment? Um, definitely the kids for their contest and like just seeing them walk around. Like they came like super dressed up, face painted. Like we're standing online for like six hours. They had people who literally stand online for them while they walk around and enjoy the event. So it was really cool to see like how how dedicated and how like they were waiting for this event the entire year. Yeah, that's that's awesome. You know, um, yeah, it looked like y'all had a lot of fun, and you know, and uh, yeah. Your, your man's was drawing a lot of heat as he was trashing Jacksonville. <laughs> no, yeah, Jacksonville was horrible. Was now horrible. here you go. It was absolutely horrible. That was the worst part of the entire trip. The event was great. Jacksonville, horrible. And then we got stuck there for 12 hours after. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, boy. So we, we need to bring y'all to Baltimore. We need to figure that figure that out I, I promise you'll have a better experience just don't wear those crocs i'm sorry never again jacksonville can't pay me enough oh, it died. <laughs> wow <laughs> phone is ringing ladies and gentlemen yeah, Shayla, so shayla's sorry. got a hotline he thought it was on do not disturb <laughs> oh trust me i i had to do that earlier i was in therapy and i was like oh snap let me make sure <laughs> my phone is on matter of fact i need to do that now but uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but now you know. Um, what's something that? What's the biggest thing you're looking forward to most in this wrestling business? Uh, hold on, I lost you for a second. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. We're back. Okay. Uh, I would say. Huh? I'm really just having fun. Like mm. I don't have any like set goals right now. Hopefully. Maybe one day I'll decide, but I'm just having fun with it, going out there, and whatever happens, happens. Like, I really just enjoy it. I live life. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to approach it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You can clearly see, you know, y'all was out there having a lot of fun. And, um, you know, and, it, it, you know, it was definitely, you know, it was definitely a fun match. Uh, what, what, any words for Ron? Um, you know, is he. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> having a lot of fun behind this computer screen. A lot of fun behind the screen. <laughs> Yo, I'm, hey, I'm just trying to mind my business. Blame him because I tried to be nice. Well, <laughs> I bought him a drink. And what did he do? He get on social media and trash me and be like, yeah, yeah this is that wasn't enough. Thank you. You thought buying enough. me a drink was going to make his friends or something? <laughs> but look, this That's is the, the thing. Least do. It was his the least. The, it was his the least. I, I, I sat there. We was on the show at Black Russell Fest. And it was on the vlog. The vlog just came out today. People can go see the vlog. Unfortunately, Jay Bougie is heavily featured in the vlog, thanks to Dwayne. Unfortunately. <laughs> this is crazy. Then I said, okay, let bygones be bygones. You know what? It's the after party. We can shake hands. I tried to shake hands there. He didn't want to accept it. I said there. I was like, look, you know, it's your birthday. Let, let's party. Boom. I ain't, And it wasn't like I took the drink. I ordered it right there and let them bring it to him. So he couldn't say I poisoned it. And then he's still mad. He's still mad. 
Yeah, because what like what, what you thought this was? You thought I was I was shallow or something like that. <laughs> but but the, but this is the thing. Nobody seen the other video though. What re- what really was said? That video hasn't been released yet. What 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 what, what part? Yeah yeah uh huh. What uh-huh. part? What was said? Yeah yeah drink yeah sip sip <laughs> sip drink your DMT drink your DMT man. Go ahead. And, and then you got you got your man's PJ out here calling me out for a match. And whatnot. I'm sitting here just minding my business. <laughs> I'm sitting here just minding my business. Oh, and, and look, look, look. Now, now, now your sister calling me, and I, I ain't even do nothing. You know, we're we gonna see how this goes. You got your sister calling me right now, and, and all this, that, and the other. I, I can't talk right now. I'm gonna call you back because it's just crazy. So look, I don't even know. And, and now you wearing the Crocs. You throwing the Crocs on. <laughs> I've had them on. Look, look, you know, look, this this is crazy. All this happening right now. Wow. <laughs> this is a sneak attack. <laughs> this is a sneak attack. <laughs> look, look, see, look, look, look. You, you know, you, you, you sat there. You, you, you. <laughs> man. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. I ain't, no, no, that was him. I played the footage. I replayed the footage. And then he sat there. He said, I oh, I got something. I have to play it again. No, and he said, don't play it again. I decide if I play it again. <laughs> <laughs> I decide if I play it again. <laughs> I'm gonna rise above. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell your sister. I'm gonna call her interview. back. I'm at, you, you sat there. And I'm gonna have to call you back. Y'all sitting up there. You and Jay Bougie up here sneak attacking. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Find the picture of him getting slapped. We should have that on standby. <laughs> what me slap? I ain't get slapped. Not you. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rev, that's oh, again. Just keep oh, oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That was that was bad. Yeah, was but good. um, you to find that. That's the photo you need to be putting here on the big screen. Not any words? Any words for Rev? He won't do it again. That's all I can say. He oh, won't do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop. Just like that photo. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna we, add it look, to the video. We, when we talked up. about this. We talked about the rematch. Now, Shayla, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna just advise you. If doing a rematch, please don't get involved. Oh Lord! <laughs> just throw, just show the photo. Poor Ron. Poor Ron. Get involved. I'm, I'm asking you not to get involved. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take. I guess I don't know if it's gonna be. You know, uh, we had Suzette Victoria of Hit Club Pro. She's agreed. She's agreed to make this a, a the do the rematch in Charlotte. I mean Greensboro. I keep calling Charlotte in Greensboro. So I don't know what y'all if it's, it's if you're gonna be is the bodega gonna travel or is this gonna, was there or is this gonna be a country fight? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. keep the doors away. Keep the doors far, far away. I mean you, you took it like a champ though. <laughs> you 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 got up, you were still able to celebrate in the end. <laughs> I gotta give you your props. I on tried, that. I tried. <laughs> he made me miss my shoot, but it's cool. Oh it's cool. oh <laughs> Definitely, so my back was hurting too much the next day, but I'm fine now. But I'm are you saying it. the Reverend Ron T. Hunt cost you some money? Yep. You may be this eligible. Get rearranged all over again. Yeah, what? you may be eligible for a settlement. <laughs> Run for my <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta figure that out. But uh, yeah, what what a night that was, and I mean, obviously, it was so good that they were, you know. Everybody on social media was invested. What what did you think when you saw all the um all all of the fallout on social media following STP? I mean, takeover versus STP. I definitely didn't think it would go crazy like that. Like I knew how big it was, but I didn't mm-hmm. think I'd see my face every morning for two months. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that would happen at all. But it was it was crazy. It was it was amazing to see that that's the reaction everybody got and that the fans enjoyed it. And that everybody else kept sharing about it. No, people talk about it to this day. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I look at it and I see, like you know, is um, you know, being a referee is certainly one of the biggest moments in my uh, life and wrestling career. And I see like so many people come out there. I'm like, you know what? This is like you seeing people from Chicago, Boston, over on the West Coast get involved. Everybody wanted a piece of that. I mean, dare say that match stole the show. I'm just saying. 
you know. Um, yeah, right. you know, Jay Boozy yeah, do a little something, something in the ring. You know, we're gonna give him credit with credit. Do he do a little something, something in the ring? It hurts you so much. It don't. It really don't. <laughs> you know, I, I, I like the brother. I do. I love the brother. He just he he got to get his head right. I tried to squash the beef. Try after, after you slow counted. At, look. <laughs> look. I had to make sure that the echo from my hand would reach Ron's ear three times, two times, and he didn't get up the third time. So that was on him. Well, Y'all act like I, everybody act like I lifted his shoulder or something. Whatever. <laughs> everybody act like I lifted his shoulder or something. I was one, two, three. <laughs> no, no, that's not how. I, it didn't, I didn't even hold my hand up. I, I can't. It was the same interval. Be- between one, between two, between three. Right. And I raised Jay Bougie's hand like a man. Now, him and Brother Hugh, my, my best friend since the sixth okay. grade, <laughs> since the sixth grade, co- conspired together to put me in them got darn Crocs. <laughs> you love them. They were No. Look, look just because you introduced him to them don't mean everybody going to like them. Y'all, y'all can have them. They're great. The- <laughs> They're amazing. They're the best shoe on earth. I've lost it. Oh, oh right here. See, right here. Amazing. Oh, Lord. You don't keep yours in sports mode, I see. Okay. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm always on cruise control. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, well, before we get out of here, let the people know where they can find you if they're just listening and they don't see it on their screens. Okay. It's Shayla's Archive Everywhere. S-H-A-Y-L-A-S. Archive is A-R-C-H-I-V-E. There's a period on TikTok, but it's Shayla's archive straight everywhere else. Well, Shayla, I appreciate you taking the time out to come on Wrestling for the Culture. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I, I, I understand, you know. But, you know, in all seriousness, in all fairness, we we, we, we break kayfabe for one second. Um, you know, happy to see y'all just go out there killing it. And, you know, obviously you have the support of the wrestling realm, myself, the real Dwayne Allen, Brother Hugh, you and Jay Bougie. Um, you know, we watch, we're ready to watch y'all become the stars in this business that you are. Thank you. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. Yeah, no problem. But I ain't wearing no Crocs. <laughs> we'll get you in some Crocs one day. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and This show was born.